Today we're comparing the performance of a .NET console application on the Dell XPS 13, a brand new machine with Intel Core i7, that's the Evo variety, and that's the 11th generation. And we're comparing that to the new MacBook Air M1 performance of a .NET execution. Now I know what you're gonna say, .NET is not yet optimized for the ARM processor, and you're right, it's not. That should be coming with .NET 6 sometime later this year, hopefully. Hey, uh, this is Alex in the future, interrupting real quick for a very good reason. Our friends at JetBrains gave me a few licenses to give away to folks, and by folks I mean you folks. They also gave me a license so I can do reviews on this channel as well, but otherwise they didn't pay me or anything for this video. So at the end of the video, I'm going to uh, give you the rules on what to do to enter and to win. And we're gonna be doing this a few times. I got a few licenses to give away, so make sure you subscribe. All right, back to the video. This Dell cost about $1,700 brand new. And yes, it is a dedicated Windows machine. And if that's all you're doing is just .NET development, then you probably don't need a Mac in the first place. But if you're doing any kind of iOS development or any other development, then the Mac will actually run those things, iOS development, Mac application development, all your web development needs, as well as .NET, which works on cross-platform. And this will give us a little bit of a baseline. Now, I know you like to hear the answer before the end of the video, so I already ran this test in this case, and the Dell wins. It wins because on the Mac, .NET is currently running under Intel emulation mode under what's known as Rosetta. So there is a little bit of a slowdown because of that. Nonetheless, I still wanna show off this video, and for those that are interested and curious by how much it wins, you can keep watching. And this will give us a little bit of a baseline to see what's gonna happen later this year when the new .NET comes out with ARM support, and how quickly will that run? on the new MacBook Airs and the MacBook Pros that are coming out later this year. I'm really curious to find out. So right now I'm gonna execute a basic hello world application. I'm gonna do it using the .NET run command. And then I will also execute the built DLL, which should execute much faster on both of these machines. All right, let's begin. So here we are on the Dell. I'm gonna create a brand new directory here. Let's call it hello world. All right, and I'm gonna create a brand new .NET application, .NET new console. All right, that's gonna create that app. Let's do the same thing on the MacBook Air. So I'm creating a new folder called Hello World, going into that folder, and then .NETting a new app called console. Is .NETting a, a word? Is that a verb? I don't know, it should be. So it took about the same amount of time visually to generate the app, so not a big deal there, but a little bit faster on the Dell, of course. 58 milliseconds versus 136 milliseconds on the M1. Are you gonna notice that? Probably not really. What you will notice is the build time, and you'll notice that it is significantly faster on the Dell. So here we go. .NET run is what I'm gonna execute, but I wanna get a printout of the time that it takes to actually execute that. So I'm gonna use a little utility in PowerShell, and that utility is called measure command. You can pass it what you wanna execute, and these weird syntax squiggly brackets. The time command, of course, is much cleaner on the Mac, so let's do that here. Time.net run. Pretty simple, right? And just because it's fun, I'm gonna press the enter key at the same time on both of these. Bam. All right. For Hello World app, it's still taking a while on both of these to execute. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> I did run this test before, I swear. So on the Dell, this took 11.8 seconds to run. That's got to be some kind of weird anomaly. And on the Mac, it took 6.28 seconds. So faster on the M1 that time, but let me run it again because the first time it didn't yet pre-compile all the stuff that it needs to do. The second time around, it already has compiled it, so it's gonna be much faster. Okay, and that makes a lot more sense. And it's also more representative of your typical workflow. Well, that's kind of weird. While running that process, my MacBook Air just crashed for the first time since I've been running all these tests. I've had it for about a month now and the battery has been good, everything has been smooth, it restarts really fast, but it crashed this time. Very strange. Is .NET crashing my M1? 
It probably has something to do with uh, the video recording that's going on. Maybe it's not handling it so well. So let's go ahead and run this one more time. Time dot net run. And I'm gonna do it again here as well on the Dell. Let's kick things off and see what happens there. Don't crash again on me. Okay, this is a little bit more representative of what I saw before. On the Dell, total seconds for that Hello World application was 2.29. On the MacBook Air M1, 4.17 seconds total. Let's do it again, just for good measure. And clearly, the Dell finishes that faster. 2.2 seconds on the Dell, 3.69 on the M1. And in case you're interested in me running the build output, the actual build DLL, let's do that now. So that needs to be in CD bin debug. And debug is gonna be a little different than the release one if I decided to build a release one, but still this one's gonna be faster. Let's run .NET with the final output. So there's our Hello World DLL right there. I'm gonna run that using the .NET command. Uh, so that's gonna be measure command dot net and then pass in hello world dot dll. Okay, and let's do the same thing here. Bin and uh, cd debug net five. And there's our hello world dll. So I'm gonna time it dot net hello world dot dll. Let's do it. Okay, no time to blink on that one. So total seconds on the Dell, 0.11, very small amounts we're dealing with here. So 115 milliseconds and on the MacBook M1, 0.146. So 146 milliseconds. And just for good measure, let's run it again. 101 milliseconds on the Dell, 142 milliseconds on the M1 a little bit slower, but the M1 is also a $1,200 machine versus this one, which is significantly more. The Dell does cost more and is not as fully capable as a Mac because a Mac can do more things like iOS development if you need that. So for less money, you're getting very similar performance. Of course, this is just a hollow world test. It's not an intensive, large application build, but it makes me wonder what's gonna happen at the end of this year when .NET 6 is gonna be out. And that one will support ARM, supposedly, so that one might actually run really fast. I'm really looking forward to checking that out and seeing that. And uh, if you are curious, and if you're gonna stick with me, I suggest you subscribe to the channel Hey, why not? It's free. And if this was informative, I'd appreciate a like so others may find this video as well. And let me know down below if you do want to see any other tests comparing the M1 to another PC laptop, for example, in .NET or other technologies. All right, so thanks for sticking around to the end. Now, I got a few licenses from JetBrains. A lot of you are probably already familiar with JetBrains, and if you're not, they make tools for developers. So they like this channel and they were nice enough to give me a few licenses to raffle out to you folks. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do, starting with this one. So at the bottom of this video, you'll see a comment section. The rules are simple. Leave a comment down below and tell me what technology you use to develop. You also have to like this video because that helps me out quite a bit. And if you don't win this time, don't worry. I got a bunch more licenses to give out. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you follow along so that you know when you've won, if you won. And if you didn't win this time, you'll have more chances to win. And you also wanna be subscribed so that you get notified when there is a winner. So that's pretty simple, that's it. As far as what tools you can pick, you can pick any tools on their site. Good luck and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.